We'll just go into view, and open explorer, toolbox and properties. Inside toolbox, go to your, your models and insert my menu device, you should get it in the description. Once it's inserted, you can delete the V1 folder since that the, uh, that's the older version. V2 is the one we're going to be editing today, so we can open this. Insert the menu GUI inside the GUI. Insert the menu folder into workspace. Now we can delete this. But if you need some help, there's a help script right here, and you can read that if you come into any errors. After that, open up the menu bit, and then click this. We can close our toolbox now, and scroll down to enabled. This sub property will be set to false, so to make it visible, say to true, and there we go. The, the pop-up should appear first, that's because we need to edit them. So everything else is behind here, but it will automatically say itself. So what we're going to do is, we'll start off with the music. Since that's the, one of the basic things we can do, so we can go over to music script. And then put in the ID. So, to get your ID, what we can do is we can go back to toolbox. And go to audio. Now you can find some of the free audio here and all that, so I'll let you go ahead and do that, but I'm going to disable music for now. If you don't want music to be playing, set the ID to zero. <coughs> now after that, we'll go to pop-ups. So these are all the pop-ups, what we're going to do is we're going to select each and every one except back button and positions. We can do this by shift and then click it. What we're going to do is we're going to set visible to false. This is what it will look like when it's in game, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on credits and now we're going to make credits visible. Once we, open, once we open it up, we can go over to content and this is like the credits. Go to, go to icon and then we can go to icon script. This will be the uh, player icon, so what we need to do is, you see these little three zeros right here? You need to put, input your user ID. I don't have my user ID right now, so just put in your user ID, you can find it on your player page. Now, to edit the credits, we can open up the credits, and then we can edit this. This is the player info, so some info on the uh, player, so we'll put in like, made this, UI and game. Now for the other text label, this will be the player name, so I'll put in my name. But don't put in your actual name, but just put in your robot username. Now, after that, we can, if you want to add another um, credit, we can select content, and then we'll duplicate it. Now, what we can do is we can go over to position, and then choose X, use X. We don't want to mess with Y, so we'll just mess with X. So, what we can do is we can set this to the zero, or not, I don't know. So, wait, background one. Position can be minus two, maybe? Oh, minus zero point two. There we go. So we can put input another player here now. So if you have more people working on your team, then we can add another player now. So go ahead and what we do what we did before. I'm going to leave that to you. That's so that we can make credits invisible by going back to properties and say visible to false. Now go to shop, and then we can open up the shop. Now, what we can do is we can go into content, game passes, game pass scroll, and then we have a game pass right here. Now, we can open this up and then go to the buy button. Then we can go to buy script and then in local ID, put change the zero to a game pass ID. Now, this is something that people get so like if you're using a developer product, change this little line right here prompt game pass purchase. We can change this to prompt, uh, prompt pro product purchase, and then this will prompt the developer product. That's how you use our shirt and everything. Shirt, game pass, and a developer product. Now, if you want to add another developer project, game pass, and all that, just duplicate this, this game pass frame, and it will automatically set the position. Now you can edit the position if you want in UI grid layout. Then we can change the cell padding to 0.1 from to 0.05. Then it'll change to this. And now after we've done the shop, we can set this to invisible. 
Now we can go to updates, make it visible, and this will be a list of a well, it's basically you know, an update like. So it goes from one is the top, and ten is the bottom. So you can edit all of these texts. Now I don't have any updates, so I'll let you put in what you need. And now after that, go to the updates and visible equals false. Now that's pretty much basically all we need to do. So we can get the camera right here, menu face. Now you can drag this camera anywhere in the map. If you open this, it'll it'll say a decal. Now you see this little box. Here? This box is pointing in this direction. So this direction is where the camera is going to be facing. So we can edit the camera position if we want. So we'll just drag it along here. There we go. So now the camera will be pointing in this direction. Down. As you can see, that's where the decal is pointing as well. Now what we need to do is make all of the pop-ups visible. Then what we do is we can go into the menu and set enabled to false. Now you can edit your game or add even more GYs. Now we can play test the game. Once we're in the game, everything once we are in the game, everything should be working. You can test all these buttons out, do updates. The updates are working. Just must set the back button up. So make sure to set the back button to visible as well. I must have missed that one out an accident. Alright, we're back in updates. And then the back button should appear again. Now credits. Credits are here. The both from work. Now settings. Our performance, shadows and all that. And reflections. We can change our FOV. The FOV. Both is 70. Now, what we can do now is we can go to the shop. I didn't put in a game pass ID so this wouldn't work. So when you hover over some info show up, you can see the info script. And bye. Now, what we, need to, uh, what we can do now is just press play. And then a little animation will play. And we're in our game. Pretty empty, but it does. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.